Hello, in this video we'll be looking at the set white choke wizard. The white choke shrinks the area of white under a colour so it doesn't peek out. If we apply a choke to say a letter O of 5 pixels, you would be shrinking 5 pixels from the outer edge of a letter as well as from the inner edge of a letter. For very small objects this can be very destructive so it needs to be used with care. The set white choke is found under the Q menu. Select this option to start the wizard. Select your bed size and the graphics you want to use for the choke prints tests. Select the size you'd like to print the output on, so you can see how many samples you can get on a page, and click Next. You can now select the minimum and maximum range and the increment for the prints. I would not normally recommend going above a choke of 5, but in this case we're going to go from 0 to 10 in steps of 2, so you can see the effects of too much choke. If you rip only, you can use the view raw data and you can take a look at the white in relation to the color data. This is a very useful way to check your choke without doing a print. In this particular example, I've chosen a bad file. If we look closely, we actually can see the white is peaking out even without any registration issues due to the design of the graphics. Um, this sometimes happens due to anti-aliasing or uh, the transparency not being correctly set up on the image. So we'll need quite an aggressive choke for this and we can look at the different choke values in the view raw data. For example if we look at the choke value for 6, we can see it's choked back far too much and that would cause the actual stroke on these lines to uh, be distorted. Um, they wouldn't have a solid white under enough of the area. If we look at a choke of 4, you can see we just got a very small amount of white still sticking out from that problem file but it's pretty close to where we want. So an optimum value for this is 5, and that's really what we would recommend as a maximum value. If we look at the output, we can see the effect of these chokes and what it actually looks like once it's printed on the shirts. And you can see even without, a little, without any choke at all, um, the graphic doesn't look too bad on a grey shirt. If we look where we have a choke of 6, you can see that effect of having too much choke where you can actually have a change in colour um, on the line where there's white and where there isn't white. At around a choke of 4, it looks pretty good. So we could use a choke of 4 quite happily for this output. Um, if we go to a very high value, such as a choke of 10, you can see there is now no white underneath that line and it just becomes a stain on the shirt and it's now lost its true colour. Finally in the wizard we can set our choke, desired choke value, click finish and it updates the queue for all subsequent jobs to get added.